Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made the Moss Fairy. I'm going to be using a Draculaura doll and I'm going to skip through the prep a little bit because it's in every video. So you know we cut off the hair and then I'm going to be using a little bit of heat to loosen up that glue and it'll be easier to scrape it. And then I'm going to be removing all the hair. Once I did that, I'm going to use acetone to remove her factory paint. I'm sanding her body pretty good because she had a lot of texture on her butt and she had a lot of seams on her sides and her legs. And here I'm mixing up some acrylic paint. I'm making my own flesh color because anytime you buy flesh tone, it's always a little bit too peachy for me. So I just adjusted it to make it look the way that I needed to. I'm using makeup brushes because it gives it more of an airbrushed look. I'm doing the same thing with her head. I'm creating some hair wefts here. That's just a piece of glass from an old picture frame that I'm using. And then I'm going to be cutting it into shape once the glue cools. I'm placing those on her head and I'm going to use the tip of my glue gun to make sure that that's smooth, that there's no lumps or anything. I'm going to do that all the way around her head, all the way to the top. I'm going to protect her hair and then I'm just going to shade her. Her eyes are going to be just really dark. Adding some white lashes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to do the same thing with the body. I'm using the same colors that I used on her face. That's just a pom-pom ball that I'm using for the fur. I'm using cos clay to make her wings. I'm adding some wire to her wings because I'm going to drill two holes into her back and that's how I'm going to attach the wings. So I'm going to be using acrylic paint and I'm trying to get a little bit of a speckled effect. Here I'm adding a little bit of that fur to her face. I'm going to be drilling two holes into her forehead so that I can attach the antennas. I'm also putting a little bit of that fur around her hairline and then on top of her hair. So 
so I decided to make her a staff and that's just twigs out of my backyard. The only thing I really add to it is a little bit of Spanish moss, gold paint, and I made a little gold ball out of uh, clay as well. And to finish it off, I'm just adding resin to everything because that's like super fragile and that will help keep it in place. And it's also going to give it some shine. I'm adding just a little bit to the wings too. See you guys next time.